Welcome back and welcome to National Signing Day. Our coverage begins here at Northwood as Falcon quarterback Mason Welch highlights a five-person signing class heading to the next level. Welch is one of three Falcon football players to sign. The all-district signal caller is betting on himself and heading to Kilgore Junior College. I, I wasn't getting some of the opportunities I felt that I could have gotten, and um, you know, and I, I, something that I've I've never been afraid, I've never been afraid to bet on myself. Two of Welch's teammates will remain teammates. Wide receiver Mark Dennison and defensive lineman Ted Jamison join a Louisiana Christian program looking to make its first ever NAIA playoff appearance. They were one win last year from winning the conference championship and making the playoff. So we're hoping that you know we can get on the squad, get our playing time with the freshmen, show our impact, and uh, start winning some championships. From there, we head to Texas, where five Pleasant Grove Hawks are moving on. Highlighted by Texas Tech baseball commit J.M. Long. I'm kind of like a family guy, so I like the community being involved and everything. I like I don't like the kind of big schools and it's all flash and everything. I really want to be down to earth kind of school. Back in Louisiana, Arkansas Monticello was well represented in the Arklatex as Huntington's Trey Carter and Airlines Cam Jefferson are both headed to the natural state. I think it would be a best place for my future because like I have I know a lot of people up there, I know the coaches and they are real good people to be around. We're gonna be rooming together most likely. Right. And so we talked about that a little bit and we said we're gonna uh, we're gonna think we're gonna like it, man. Two more Vikings are staying close to home. Running back Kylan Jackson is headed to ETBU, while wideout Daxton Chavez signed with Louisiana Tech. I'm talking with my parents, uh, it's been a long process, and so as much as I love them, I know they kind of want me out of the house a little bit, so I don't blame them, but uh, I can't go too far, so Tech was in the perfect spot. It's only like an hour and a half away, so it's like I'm still close to home, but I'm still far enough you know, to experience new things. And finally, the 2022 Class 1A state champions are sending two players to the Division I level as Waltez Champ heads to Texas Southern and Brendan Harris is off to Northwestern State, carrying the town of Homer with them. I'm proud, you know, I feel like my hometown got a lot of talent, but we just get overlooked a lot because we're a small school, but it is what it is. We're going to keep doing what we're doing and producing good players. Now, now the youth can look up to us and hopefully it, it happens from now and on out, you know. It's a tradition they're going to start at Homer High School. For a complete list of all the signees from around the Arklatex, head to our website, ktalnews.com. That's your look at sports. We'll be right back.